Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Dead Rising 3. I have Cletus and Swordfish with me. Hello. Hello. And today we're going to get back to the story. We should probably, you know, try and continue our plans to actually escape from the zombie-infested city due to be firebombed. You have four days. Four whole days. We do have four days. we got a lot of time, but we should probably... It's a long make, weekend. We should make some progress. Stop procrastinating, you know? Speaking of which, I need to change my essay name still. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I just kind of figured that wasn't happening anymore. I should. What's your name on it? Chivalry Undead. Oh, yeah. Back when Cletus first started helping me with LPs, which was like two, two and a half years ago, uh, yeah. he said he was going to change his name so he could post in the threads and then just and be recognized. Yeah, <laughs> and just never did. Which is fair. I also want a custom ad and whatnot. So yeah, one day. One, one day. day. I upgraded my account to uh, so I could private message that guy who was really helping me with building a computer. Mm, nice. Yeah, I, I uh, did that when I built my computer too. Used the computer building thread. Excellent. Very helpful. Yep, something awful is like the best ten bucks I've ever spent. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, uh, here we are at the tower. Uh, we actually got the message a couple of videos ago while someone else was talking that Red probably had fuel by now. So we're supposed to meet him here and get our fuel. I haven't seen any burritos around here lately. Okay. You notice that? There's no Mexican food in these areas. Oh, I see. Hey, yeah, check it out. You. We got all the girls. You expect to see some hamburgers. Ladies? Ladies. And the end of chapter three. So yeah, hey, chapter on. three done at the end of day three. I think, I think that's pretty good. We're doing good. Mm -hmm. And the napalm bomb, which we will, we will check out in just a minute. Hey, don't scare me like that. Red's not back yet. Too bad. <sighs> yeah. Bingo! Hands up, everybody, hands up! Gary? I told him where I was. I trusted you, asshole! Oh, calm down, lady. It's not his fault. I figured you didn't have the balls <laughs> to follow through, so I followed you. Now, you're the broad my boss is looking for. You're coming with me! He moving! He moving! Huh? It's a real Get Relax! Uh, what happened here? Where are they? Special Ops Raid. You have any idea where they might be? They've been working on a makeshift prison camp for the past couple of days, man. Over in the old taxi dispatch yard in Ingleton. That must be where they are. Did you get the fuel? Family first, Nick. Dang. We gotta go. Matter of fact, you know what? I'm gonna go get back up. There's an old used car lot across the street from the prison camp. Meet me on the office rooftop. We'll devise a plan there. Well, yep. Pretty much everything went bad. And he's pretty popular. Yeah, that too. Did you get the fuel? It's like, damn, that's not important. Right it's like, well, yeah, it kind of is. It's literally the only important thing. Come on, family first. Uh, Alright, so the napalm bomb is basically as advertised. Um, it's an incendiary bomb. So we'll just give that a toss. You always seem to do these tests in the same place. I do. That's that's by design. Yep. How, is it because you is close to a safe house where you can... Like, it is close to a safe house. Um, and there's a lot of zombies here, which makes it good for testing stuff. Do you park that taxi there yourself? Nope, that's always there. I just use it because it's convenient. Yes, it is. Anyway, I also wanted to do this to show just how effective the napalm bomb is. So the entire crowd gets set on fire. And yeah, then after... it's a pretty good area of effect. Yeah, so we'll just watch all the people die in waves. And then I'll speed it up, but... <laughs> it was probably about 15 seconds, 15-20 seconds, and the entire crowd is just gone. 
Yeah, but who has that kind of time? Yeah, yeah it's not very practical because... You have four days, Frenzy. Four days. Yeah. Don't I know, I know, we're working on seconds. it. Oh, look at this, now we don't get our fuel because we have to go rescue people from the military. Yeah. Oh, you're trusting illegals, that's your fault. Alright. Yeah. Anyway, no matter Nick whose fault it is... such a pushover. <laughs> no matter whose fault it is, we need to go deal with it. Ooh, shock blaster. Bud, there's a guy crying over a pool full of zombies by the landslide in sunset. That is all, later. <laughs> Yeah, uh, since we started a new chapter, we're going to get a whole bunch of calls from Jamie giving us more side missions. Interesting. Oh, we'll deal with those at some point. That one was funny. Yeah. He's crying over a pool full of zombies. Apparently. But is he is he being like, is it a metaphor or is he literally crying over a pool full of zombies? Yeah. We don't Only know. Only one way to find out. There is, but that we, that won't be for a while. He's so poetic, it's hard to know. <laughs> He's got a way with words. I think Annie should cut her hair and stop wearing her hood up. Because it's severely limiting her vision. Mm. It's very recognizable. No, I mean, she like she's like, oh, don't scare me like that. You literally just like walked up to them. <laughs> like, hey yeah. guys. Maybe if she had like a decent haircut, like military style, she could see better. You're going through a thing with girls with short hair, aren't you? No, I'm not. I oh, just okay. think it's a practical thing. Well, okay. not any more than usual. <laughs> no, I'm not. I've never been. You'd like uh, Charlize Theron in uh, in Mad Max. Oh, would I? Yeah, uh, probably. Would... Is it like uh, that Kate Nada in that Transporter movie? That... <sighs> Kate Nada. Uh, I, she's almost like like. Clean shaven on the head in Mad Max. Hey Jeremy. I don't know if you're doing you. Yep, and hi Jeremy. Good call. <laughs> Drink. Every time you see Jeremy. <laughs> I don't know why that phone call didn't work. I tried to pick up. Let's see. Coitus Interruptus. Ooh, a psycho mission. Oh. Yeah, we, we won't get to that for a couple of videos, though, unfortunately. Okay. Do it, you big babby. Um, I would like to point out, it's probably not the same Annie who owns the sex shop, but then again, you never know. Fair enough. This guy, uh, I decided to save, because I thought it was interesting that all the zombies are convict zombies. I don't think I've ever seen that before. You're just doing your civic duty. The old prison bus? Yeah, I just thought that was interesting. There's so many people who are stranded. I know, I feel like at this point I should be fine with just leaving them to die, but I just, I can't do it. You have too much of a heart. I know, I feel bad about it. I gotta, I gotta save them. Of course you blast her with poison too, but... What's that saying? Don't know. If you do, doing nothing is as bad as doing the act itself. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't remember. Me neither. Screw it. Yep. Here we First are. This... they came for the people staying on cars, and I did nothing, because I wasn't standing on a car. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. I guess Red didn't stop to help people, because he beat us here. <laughs> Family first. I bet they're holding our people in that main detention area over there behind that electrical fence. We had to cut the power to get on the inside of there, though. Power supply is probably in that main building over there. See ya, asshole! Hmm. Look, Nick, there's a couple of ways you can go about this. You can fight your way straight through, right? Or you can go around the perimeter and find a way to climb on the inside. You are there! Or you found one of their uniforms, they look just stupid enough let you walk right past. But it's up to you now, Nick. Okay. Wait, 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 where are you going? I'm going to go get an escape vehicle. You're going to go on the inside of that main building, which is probably HQ, and cut the power. And then get over to the detention area. I'll meet you on the inside, and we'll get our people out together. Inside. Right. 
So wait, what's the plan? The plan? I don't really like this guy. Man. This guy's Sure, no problem. Red's a asshole. Red's kind of an asshole, but and I, Nick's a big pussy though. The thing about Red is yeah. he really is a good leader. Like he comes up with the plan, tells everyone what to do. He's good at it. Yeah, that's not even a good plan. It's like, oh, how do we get him out of here? Well, you no. go in and get them out. Of here. Come on. I, I will admit that the whole sending Nick to do the hard part is probably not the best plan. But you um, think that they want to decide which of the three he does too, <laughs> so he doesn't like shoot him or. Nah, the game really wants to beat over your head that you have a choice here. And you do and you have like several other people who have like military experience in their group who could easily help you. Yes. But are not. Anyway, uh, the spec oh, ops you would go stealth. Just hold on, hold on. Okay, so the spec ops outfit. This is the only place in the game where you can get it. This is the only time in the game where you can get it. Oh, so you can't go to the safe house? And... Nope. Like you, this is this. If you want this outfit, this is what you have to do. It's also kind of cool because these guys will talk to you. Yeah, that is some interesting information. Exactly, it is kind of cool uh, doing it this way. What um, if you just start killing people? Uh, they'll shoot you, and that's the other one of the other options is you just yeah. kill all these soldiers, which is. We have so the shock blaster, it probably wouldn't even take too long. Yeah. So you're going to do the hybrid plan, where you sneak in and then just go nuts. Yeah, you could do that, but I don't know why you would. Blame the, uh, blame PTSD. <laughs> um, and their lack of services for veterans. All right. Uh, however... <laughs> Happy you... Memorial Day, everyone. <laughs> um, you guys know I don't like covering up Nick's face for cutscenes. So we're actually not going to do it that way. Wow. Psych! Know, a twist. Psych! What a twist. <laughs> uh, no, we're actually going to do the sneak in uh, from around the perimeter way. That's more of the frenzy way. Yeah. I kind of like that they made a mission that has multiple ways of completing it. They just, they beat you over the head about it. Yeah. Like they tell you three times in the cutscene and then it's, I don't know. Well, you're being very sneaky right now. Yeah. <laughs> Just so you know. Yeah, they uh, they don't really care about the gunfire. <laughs> you are a natural. Then again, the soldiers are shooting like crazy outside anyway. So maybe, they, maybe they can't tell the difference. But yeah. you'd think that hearing gunfire in a world of zombies that isn't easily, like, easily identifiable would raise off some pretty big alarm bells. Yeah, probably. Uh, we got new combo, the sticky bomb. That looks effective. Yeah. Gren grenades. And nails. So the thing is, this is... It's kind of similar to the uh, the bomb toy. Uh, in that you stick it to people and then it explodes. Can you check it? It's very that effective. Is, that is a gooey mess. Yeah. It has really cool sound effects, though. The sound of it grabbing people is a little different. The clink? Yeah. And even the explosion has that clink sound, like the shrapnel, I guess, are supposed to be. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's very effective. Hey, look, nice. like, it looks like candy. <laughs> uh, the other kind of cool thing about the sticky bomb that I was surprised about is it has a combo attack. That's funny. Yeah. I didn't think it would, but uh, but it there does. Yep. The fuse on it is a little bit long. Right here, I threw it at this guy before I did the recording for that thing, and just kind of a little surprised by how long it took to explode. Gives you time to switch to uh, your smart glass and call in a flare to get all the zombies around them, and then that would actually be a pretty cool thing to do. <laughs> then it would blow up. Um, the soldiers don't notice the explosions either. So we can c climb up here on top of the building, where they have trip a whole... Wires. Yeah, they like have they... tons of tripwires set up. Looks like they don't have the most effective tripwires. No, they're set up in kind of a weird spot, I agree. <laughs> but we got yet another combo weapon before we head in. 
the boomer axe. Yeah. Hubcap and a hatchet. I really like the sound of this one. Uh, depends which part of you do you like. I assume that it comes back to you in a big arc. So it doesn't, unfortunately. Ah, then screw it. Yeah, screw I was gonna say, if, if you thought Boomer meant it explodes, it doesn't. Nah, no, I uh, assume Boomer. I thought it was like Boomerang. Right, it, that's what the name comes from, but it doesn't, uh, it doesn't come back to you. It's just sort of a cool thrown discus thing. It's dumb. It's a dumb thing. <laughs> you give an eight of them. It is actually pretty good, though. Yeah, it's alright. Might as well just use the RC comp to that. Um, so How common nice... are hubcaps and axes? Probably pretty common. Yeah, fairly common, although I don't know how common together. Um, it's cool yeah. that you can throw it like unaimed like this. I like that part of it. No scope. Exactly. Just, side, no just scope. side arming him. Yep. It's all right. Nothing special, but it is. It's pretty good for what it is. Mm -hmm. And going up here actually means we can trigger the cutscene from the roof, which is cool. Man. You cannot proceed with the destruction of the city while I'm still searching for him. I want my full six days, as you promised. That was never the primary purpose of this operation. As your commander-in-chief, I order you to release me. It's wonderful news that we found you, Madam President. Because you see, we really needed a body. Get her to eat someone low ranking, get it on film, and get it to the media right away. And then shoot her head right off. Mission accomplished. No. I want this Diego. He wasn't at the museum with the rest of his unit. We must find him. I've allowed you to pursue this fantasy because I enjoy indulging you, Marion. Deactivating the chips won't be so easy next time. Something about the radiation we've used to turn the chips off. It's changing them. This could be a blessing in disguise. I told my men to bring some of the mutations back for study. The substance they use, this royal jelly or whatever it is, it could be the key to a new weapon. Imbecile! Don't lose focus! Search the illegals in the quarantine tents, and if you cannot find this Diego, kill them like the infectious vermin they are. Your wish is my pleasure. Power supply must be in there. Hey! Oh shit! Okay, so like a whole lot of stuff just happened. Yeah, no kidding. Um, first off, Marion. So I mentioned her in the uh, the story so far, the flash or the um, the recap video. Uh, so she worked for Phenotrans back in Dead Rising 2: Case West. Uh, one thing to notice in that game, she said she was immune, that she had cured the uh, the virus. But right there, we saw that she had to take Zombrex, so that was clearly a lie. Oh, why would she lie? Because bad guys always lie. Um, what else? President's dead? President's dead. General seems in charge. Yeah, which, I mean, we sort of already assumed. Yeah, but he's, like, threatening Marion and whatnot. Yes. Marion's looking for someone specific? Yeah, they're looking for Diego. Mm. <laughs> nice throw. Yeah, I'm having some trouble throwing things. <laughs> You suck. I was trying to talk to distract you from the video. It didn't work. Uh, yeah. Which one's Diego again? Diego's our friend who was the military guy. Oh, yeah, who went off to find the plane? Yeah. Okay. So he's apparently who they're looking for. Anything else important there happen? Royal Jelly? Royal Ooh, Jelly. We don't know super anything. Super Zombies. We don't know anything about that, though. We haven't seen it, so I don't know. We don't know what he's talking about. The weird worm they put down her throat? Nick! 
I'm so glad you're here. Let's get out of here. Hey, hey, come on, buddy. Give me, give me, give me! Leave that bastard. He'll only cause us trouble. I can't do that, Annie. But don't worry. I won't let him take you. Hurry. You know, for a little prick, you hate so bad. Do not call me that again, Gary. Time to fight our way out. Uh, again, say what you want about Red, but he is good at what he does. Yeah, stupid Red. Speaking of being good at what they do, the Shock Blaster. Mm -hmm. it's probably going to be my weapon of choice for taking on the military at this point. He's pretty good. Yeah. Why wouldn't you pick anything else? Uh, I am going to start choosing a couple other things just for fun. I feel like I should use these weapons I pick up. Hmm. That was easy. No. No, it, it wasn't, wasn't as easy as it looked. <laughs> There's the commander. Yeah, we get a little bit of a boss fight here. Spec Ops Commander. So again, I'm going to have a little bit of fun and switch up my weapons, just sort of throw things around at him. He's not actually doing too much against me at this point. Probably a better commander than soldier. <laughs> yes! <laughs> There you go, beer hat Kill him with it! Finish him! I feel like you need to like lay over some like Metallica when you use that. <laughs> yeah. Headbanging? Yeah. Hmm. He died the way he lived. Hitting a keg. <laughs> or keg hitting him. Whatever. Yeah. Let's get the hell I out of here. I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't make sense. I think your friend's the only one that they're looking for. What the hell? Why? I don't know, man. You need to come clean with me. What's this all about? I swear, Red, I have no idea. Extremely dangerous, my ass. Should we meet at the plane? It's at the shipping warehouse down at the docks. I'm gonna go look for Annie and the others. Let's meet up at the karaoke bar at Sunset Hills later, okay? Where's the fuel? It's at Central Storage down on the freeway, under the bridge. Parked just inside. You can't miss it. All right, well, things are progressing. Yeah. We have fuel, apparently. Uh, You're a outlaw? Yeah. Surprise. A wanted man. Surprise, surprise, that tattoo means something. Ghost. They only brought it up four times, so I didn't think it was important. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't noticed all the camera angles focusing on it? No, not even a little <laughs> bit. But yeah, it's important. They're apparently, they're apparently offering $5 million to whoever can... Uh, bring one of these people to them so that's oh. interesting but yeah that we'll, it is uh, that it is we will have to deal with that at some point in the future uh for now uh, we'll just have to wait and see thanks for watching everyone see you later